Christmas would not be Christmas without a great roast turkey dish, but quick and easy cooking, it's about easing you up on stress, and if there's ever a time of year to give you that, it's Christmas. This recipe uses free-range turkey, dried cranberries, fresh thyme, unsalted butter, and smoky streaked bacon. What I want to do is roast it in the most incredible way that's going to blow your mind. It's going to give you the crispiest skin, the juiciest breast meat. So what we're going to do is make a Christmas-flavoured butter. And I'm using some dried cranberries that I'm just chopping up, and I'm picking in some beautiful thyme. Take it nice and fine, and then to make a flavoured butter is pretty damn simple. All I do is add some salt and a little pepper, and then I've got a pack of butter here. This has been out of the fridge for an hour, so it's kind of scrunchable, which we love. That is now the most amazing butter. Now, you could do this like a week, two weeks before, pop that in the freezer, and you've got a job done for Christmas. So here is our lovely, illustrious, beautiful seven kilo free range bird. Let me show you the coolest little way to get that flavored butter under the skin of this turkey. Get a spatula with a rubber end, and then simply put the tip in between the breast meat and the skin, and then you just want to move it around. And what you're doing is creating like a little pocket. Do the same thing on the other side. Brilliant. Just pop the butter into the two pockets. The bird will then kind of baste itself. So you can kick back and do what you like. Any excess butter we can just rub all over, get the thyme and stuff that into the cavity. So look, this will flavour the bird, but also the juice that comes out will flavour the gravy later on. If you love gravy, then you have to use the giblets. It will give you the most incredible flavour. We can put some of our excess bits of thyme in there as well, and then we can pick a lovely bird up, and on she goes. All loved, all taken care of. It really is that quick. Last step, tuck your bird up in foil, nice and snug. For me personally, I always do this on Christmas Eve, OK? Get a job out the way, get the stress out the way. Now, let's talk cooking times. If you want a brilliant meat guide for different meats and different weights, then simply go to the website. But this beautiful free-range bird is a higher welfare bird. So this one will be about 25 to 30 minutes per kilo. And then for a standard bird, there's less fat. So it has to be cooked a bit longer, so 35 to 40 minutes per kilo. And this is a 7 kilo bird, so I'm going to cook this for about three hours. Pop your turkey in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. Cook that for two hours with the foil on then I'll remove the foil, and then I'll show you what to do next. So this beautiful turkey has had two hours, 40 minutes. Look at that. Be careful getting it out. Yes. And you can see where the flavoured butter has almost caramelised under the skin. Oh, my lord. And in the bottom of the tray, we've got that blend of the butter, the turkey fat, and all the lovely sticky goodness. What's amazing to do now is take the last ingredient, smoked, streaky bacon. It has to be smoked, guys. Put it into the sort of goodness in the bottom of the tray and then just kind of weave it in and around. Ho, ho, ho! Now that is a Christmas turkey. So what we have to do now, very importantly, is let it rest. So letting it rest just lets all the moisture go back to the right place. So what I would suggest is move this beautiful thing to a platter. So I'm going to give you a couple of little tips on how to tell if the turkey is definitely cooked. Now, you could use a thermometer. You could check that the juices are running clear. Another little sort of check is just to be able to pinch that thigh meat. And if you can pull it away from the bone, beautiful. 